Hi, welcome to Doll Alchemy. For this video, we're going to kickstart a new series with a spring doll. I have had this Venus McFly Trap doll in my stock for about a year now, and uh, I hadn't had anything to uh, really use her for until now. I think she's perfect for the idea of spring. So I cut off all of her hair and now I'm boiling her head so that I can remove it from the neck peg without breaking it. And I will take out all of the old hair plugs and the excess glue. And I'm also going to scrape off the shaved side of her head, which was done with flocking, which is just held on with glue and requires a little extra elbow grease to get off. So once I have all of the gross hair out of the head, I'm going to remove all of the factory paint from her face and head. And I'm going to spray the now clear head with a few layers of Mr. Super Clear Sealant. I've got some uh, soft pastels that I'm going to use to blush her face, some purples around her eyes, yellows for uh, like the hollows of her cheeks and her forehead, and then some pink on the underside of her eye. After about three layers of blushing, uh, adding uh, orangey pink to her cheeks as well and pink to her lips, I begin drawing on her eyes with watercolor pencils. I've outlined her lower lids in pink watercolor pencil uh, just because I think it'll make it um, easier to view the waterline when I draw in her lashes later. I decided to make her eyes uh, bluish turquoise just so that it stands out a little bit from the green and the pink and I'm not going to make them hyper realistic there won't be any pupils but uh, playing with glitter and shading and gloss uh, they have that sort of otherworldly ethereal look to them that I enjoy <laughs> as for her hair I have um, an awesome, like it's a gradient from pink to blue, um, just hair that I had bought from Walmart that I actually used to make my Alchemistress doll. Uh, this is the other part of, of the length of hair. I boil washed the hair while they were in the curlers, so uh, alternating boiling water and cold water and they actually turned out great in weft form. Um, also made an app, like a, I wouldn't know what you would call it. It's like a bump that I've placed on the top of her head that makes her look a bit like a cone head that I'm painting now. Uh, it's a plastic piece that came with a flower that I've taken apart to use for her dress later and I've hot glued it to her head and I've painted it that sort of borderline hot orange that uh, the wefts are at the root. The wefts are glued to her head with a combination of my uh, favorite Loctite uh, plastic and vinyl glue and regular hot glue. And after everything was placed, I made a flower crown out of these great um, fake flowers. I just twisted the stems together and made a circle shape 
and it has been pinned to her head so that um, her hair isn't displacing it all of the time. Since everything um, at Michael's and Joanne's is on sale as far as spring crafts, I picked up a couple of really oversized, I guess, roses um, in colors that I liked. And I pulled them all apart and I'm trying to reposition the petals here now um, so that I can get a shape that I like. I wanted the skirt to be sort of one of the high low so that you see more of her legs in front and then it's longer in the back. And after many hours, <laughs> this is what I came out with. <laughs> Since I had so much material left over from when I made Yuna's sleeves last week, I decided to use the same material um, for Spring's sleeves. Um, I wanted them to have that sort of like puffed peasant look, uh, not necessarily attached to the bodice of the dress itself. And I wound up deciding I didn't even really want a bodice, that the crop top look would be um, interesting to go with this kind of a skirt. So I went sort of ribbon crazy. <laughs> I had this multi-pack of ribbons that I had a while ago, and there were a lot of uh, like spring colored um, materials in there. So I decided this looked uh, sort of like a tube top. And then I have, um, it's a very pretty ruffly ribbon that I'm going to glue over top of it. So I'm just gluing it directly to her torso with my Loctite glue. And um, with ribbon, it's easiest to seal the edges with um, flame. So uh, probably best not to do it while it's actually on the doll, but um, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Again, please exercise plenty of caution when using open flame to work with these sorts of materials um, because you could very well set your whole work of art on fire. I also hemmed and covered the seams of the sleeves in bright green ribbon. And now that I've put her skirt back on, I decided to make um, a belt out of this other great ribbon that I had in this multi-pack uh, because the shape sort of reminds me of uh, tulips or roses or whatever. It's floral, it goes with the theme. <laughs> I made the other sleeve off camera 
and I'm just scrunching it up so that I can um, glue the other ribbons in place to complete her sleeves. I got these great shoes for Christmas in a multi-pack uh, from my mother. They're perfect for the theme. I don't have to do anything you know, special or outside of the box. So I'm going to put her in these heels now and then I'm going to make some jewelry for her. I decided to make her earrings um, out of leaves since I have so many different um, like flower petal things going on with it. So that's what I did here. I actually have real earrings. Those, those pink studs are real earrings that I've put in her ear. And I also made her a necklace out of the same beads off camera. So here she is, spring. Forgive the background. Uh, while it is technically spring here in New York, uh, none of the spring foliage has come out yet. I also wanted to mention that I glued on false eyelashes for her top lashes. They're regular people lashes, um, but I didn't capture any of it on camera because I literally fought tooth and nail just to get it to stick to her face in a way that I thought um, looked camera ready. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the making of spring. I plan on doing another doll in this series, well, three more. Uh, the next one would be summer. So I'm going to do that one closer to uh, when summer actually starts in June. So if you like my channel, uh, please like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, all of that shameless self-promotion stuff. Um, and thanks again very much for spending some time with me and appreciating my art. Take care. Bye.